My name is Kate Sohn. I'm a graduating senior in the college, um, studying Health and Societies with a minor in Bioethics, and I'm from Princeton, New Jersey. I am Korean American. Um, I was born in like Chicago, so um, was very much raised um, here in the States my entire life. Um, I'm not. Um, I wasn't. I didn't speak Korean growing up at home, so I think for me, I've always been drawn to learning more about um, Koreans and Korean Americans, and just have always had a fascination for Korea in general. Um, so naturally, when I was conducting a lot of research for my internship, um, I was drawn in the research to um, how breast cancer experiences are different for people of different ethnicities, particularly Korean Americans. And that naturally progressed to my interest in studying breast cancer survivorship in Korea. So, um, so I think it's something that's definitely a worldwide issue. And um, just because I have a more emotional, um, more personal connection to Korea, I thought that it'd be um, fitting for me to do research there. Well, first of all, I'm really hoping to contribute um, some meaningful research and somehow, um, you know, um, even with this little project, to um, be able to contribute in some way. Um, but I'm also hoping to um, really explore Korea and meet a lot of great new people and um, really to push myself as a person. And um, I love traveling, and um, it's always been a dream to um, stay for a long period of time in Korea. So I think that. Um, Hopefully I'll be like working hard at my research as well as um, making the most of my time living there. Uh, Curve was amazing. I, <laughs> I have nothing but great things to say from uh, sitting down at meetings um, with Lauren before and she was just so encouraging and I was, um, I, I didn't know anything about it so she sat down and walked me through it and talked about the ideas I had. Uh, she was really great and put me in contact with uh, the fellows and with former Fulbrighters at Penn who um, just has so much advice to give and were just so generous with their time and um, I really found the resources on Canvas and um, all that to be extremely helpful in helping me sort of frame my application to be the strongest it could be. I think, um, What's really important for Fulbright is uh, why you, why you're the right person to go, and um, why you have an interest and a passion in that particular place for that particular kind of research. Um, and I think it's really important to um, remember that very personal aspect of it is like definitely something that should shine through in the application, um, as well as that I think um, Fulbright really wants to know that it's something that you are um, prepared to face certain challenges that come along with independent research and living abroad in a completely different environment. Um, so they want to see like really a lot of specificity in your application that you put in a lot of thought into um, each stage of the process and who you'll be working with, but also that you're really open to being flexible and that you're open to communicating with other people and learning along the way. Because um, I know from what others have told me before that um, a lot changes on the ground and a lot happens that you you might be unprepared for but um, if you have a strong passion for it and a strong personal motivation for it um, and you sort of um, bring your specific tool set um, you can definitely overcome those hurdles and uh, still come out of it having learned a lot and having contributed a lot. I'm excited for everything. I'm really excited to meet my mentor in person, <laughs> but I'm also really excited to eat some Korean food, like Korean street food. Um, that's going to be the first thing I do. <laughs>